Yo, what's going on guys, Manny here and welcome back once again to Under The Radar RFC Sunday League Series. Today we have yet another YouTube game for you and we are facing up against Rebel FC. This episode is going to be the return of the UTR gang, which means all you have to do is, if you're watching Sunday League with us and you want us to see you guys supporting, then all you have to do is tell us where you're watching it from, what you're watching it on, tag us on Twitter, and then use the hashtag UTR gang. It's pretty simple. Some of those tweets will be used in the video in the following week. So if you want us to see it, make sure to use that hashtag UTR gang because it's very important. The last game for us was pretty good, a 7-1 victory, and we got things going. It was a good bounce back after the SE Dons game. Today, we are looking for exactly more of the same. Another quick reminder, if you haven't already subscribed to the UTR channel, the link is down in the description below. The content will be coming on there shortly, so make sure you go and subscribe now. But without wasting any more time, we are gonna jump into the lineup and see who's starting today. The goalkeeper's position is not gonna change. That's gonna be Mitch in goal once again for us. In the back four, and we are going to have uh, quite a few changes today. We're going to have Jed at right back. We're going to have Bradley at centre back. Jamil playing at centre back with Bradley today. And uh, we're going to have Qualms at left back to start. So yeah, quite a few changes made to that defence. But we're going to see how that pans out for us. In the midfield three, and we're going to have myself, Eric and Mikes. Not too many changes there, just the one Eric starting today. The top three is going to be Santos at left wing, Toby at right wing. And then we're going to have Thomas through the middle. Leaving us with a bench of Superstar Lamray, Tolu, Kieran, Reggie, Temi and Drew. We shouldn't take this game for granted because they're going to be serious on it from the go. So if we can't match them or beat them, we're in trouble. Simple as. So we have to set the standard. Don't let them set the standard. So I want everyone out there to have work ethic throughout the whole thing. I know it's hot. Let's not kill ourselves. And let's think about what we do. Let's think about how we're running, what kind of passes we're trying to give. Yeah? yeah. All right, so the team is as follows. Mitch in goal. Jed's right back, Kwame's left back, our two centre backs today are Jams and Brad. Our middle three are Eric, Manny and Mikes. On the right we're going to start with Toby, on the left Santos, up top is Thomas. Boys, you don't know what I ask for every day, every week. Just literally 100% from the off and press, press out the, la the life out of us for the first 10 minutes. And then press smart for the rest of the game. That's literally all I have to say. Make sure we, we are out there and we want it even more than them. Yeah, boys, have some energy. Like, you might acting like the sun has sapped that energy already. I'm telling you now, if you work hard for the first 20 minutes, yeah, the rest of the game will become easier because you don't want to be running for 90. Yeah. You don't want to be chasing the game or trying to soak pressure for 90 minutes. So be smart. First 20, I'm saying, honestly, you man, press. Press wisely and smartly, yeah? And then this game will be literally done and dusted for yourself. But we have to take shots. Uh, Thomas and Drew, take shots. Midfielders, Fred passes in and make sure we recycle. We don't have to force it, yeah? Good luck, you man. I'm going, let's do this, yeah? Here we are then uh, on what is a very, very hot day. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, playing football on Astro in this weather is not one of the greatest things. Your boots get sticky, your, your feet start burning, and it's just not ideal. However, that's exactly what we're doing today. Rebel have brought out an 11, which I don't believe to be their strongest 11, but they're ready to play. And uh, with the referees and the captains, we are ready to go. Unfortunately, I haven't really kept up with Rebel over the past few months, so I don't know all the faces and players in their team. So apologies, guys, if I do get names or players wrong. I do apologize. Here is one player that I do know for sure. This is uh, Rebel centre-back Will. Um, very vocal on the pitch. You hear his voice all throughout the game, and uh, he is kind of like their glue at the back. A very clever player. As I said, haven't really kept up to date with them, so with that, I'm not really going to know what their game plan is. Um, but it seemed like early on, their game plan was to hold on to the ball, be comfortable in possession, and uh, maybe try and draw us out. Uh, but I don't think in the early stages there was anything wrong with our shape. I don't think that we were doing anything or they were doing anything to really harm us. And we had them pretty much penned in. Although they were comfortable in possession, we had them penned in. And we had them with the ball in areas that really, as a team, you don't really want to be in. It's like, Thomas is going to put pressure on Casey Parker here. Uh, maybe try and force him back towards goal. And that's exactly what happens. But Rebel, they were pretty comfortable and you can see it there. After um, them having the ball for a couple of minutes, we finally forced a little mistake and we earned a throw in, which allowed us to finally get on the ball. Is that this time I knock it around the corner into Mike's bit of a loose touch and Lionel, the big man player, kind of like Yaya Torre 
able to pick up the ball but only for a moment then we keep it moving uh, we try and get through this gap here but we've given away a free kick they've taken that free kick quickly frankly and lionel playing it between themselves frankie's going to try and play a ball over the top little fun fact as well frankie uh, at the start of utr was actually supposed to sign but we had a few problems with the documents and uh, it didn't go through as this time rebel have dragged the shot wide Play continues on anyway, and it, I think it's going to be the left back Stelios who just played that into Dante. Um, Eric does well to win the ball off him, and you saw his clever feet in the last game. He's just demonstrating more of that there. As this time, I'm going to spread it out wide to Toby. He's got a bit of space, a bit of time. He's going to knock it into Mike's little one two going on there. Tries to get back into Mike's there, but doesn't quite come off. Seems like we've just won it over on the right. It's going to be Jed into Mike's. Mike's the ball wrong, pass into Eric. Uh, little tackle in there from Lionel, and Rebel might be able to bring the ball away. It's Frankie into Lionel. Uh, I come across them, put a little lunge on, and uh, it's uh, done enough to put him off. Jams has just given away possession, and Rebel are going to have it back. Cal Freezy playing it right back today for Rebel. I'm not even sure the last time he played. I know he had quite a few problems with his knee, um, but he's back in play. Anyway, Rebel taking a bit too long on the ball, and Thomas has just won it back for us. He's going to play it into Mike. He's got quite a bit of space in front of him. He's going to go for a shot this time blocked by the rebel man we're trying to make something happen on the edge of their box eric puts the tackle in they get a bit lucky and it's going to drop to that man will nice little turn from him and again just brings that side that little bit of composure to rebels defense so yeah you will see him on the ball quite a bit for them as he's going to play one down the line looking for lionel um lionel's got not not a lot of help here to be honest there's quite a few white shirts around him it's myself and jed with the double team and we're able to win possession back for utr it's going to go into mike's here he tries to get one across to eric's not really come off uh, i think that's ram for rebel he's just poked onto the side it looked like Quans was in control but that little shove in the back hasn't helped him and then he's tugging on the shirt the short sorry of uh, i think that's terrell and uh they're calling for a free kick referee doesn't see anything wrong with it play's going to continue and Quans is going to bring the ball down this left hand side and maybe get a little break going on for utr he's Peter Thomas holds it up and plays it back into Kwame. He's got a run of Toby there in the space, but unfortunately this time it's not going to come off. Looking at it so far though, and it seems like both teams really do uh, want to win, want to make things happen going forward. Like I said, Rebel very comfortable in possession and also we try and do the same thing. We're trying to learn and uh, add a lot of composure to our game really as we've got Mike so with plenty of time and space here to try and pick a pass he tries to get one through I think maybe for Santos there I'm not sure if it's offside or coming back from offside position but Eric's done well to win the ball back for us uh, silky feet there unfortunately the pass doesn't really come through and it's going to break down Frankie uh, for Rebel going to pick up the ball inside their half and play one down the line searching for this man like I said I'm not sure if it's his name so I don't want to keep calling him it um, but this time he's up against uh, Quams and Jams he tries to get across into the box it's going to be stopped by Bradley and Jams can bring it away I'm going to bring the ball over the halfway line for UTR I've got the option of Thomas in front of me he controls it he does well to win the ball against that guy as well he's got three Rebel shirts around him but he doesn't care he's burst through the three Rebel shirts but unfortunately in the end the shot is tame and straight at the goalkeeper he's done all the hard work Maybe he's still trying to get that final bit of sharpness in front of goal. Mitch is now going to punt one forward straight down the middle for Toby to chase. Uh, a rebel goalkeeper is going to come out and he looks quite comfortable. I talked about comfortable in possession, but maybe this is a bit too comfortable as Toby's not giving them any time, but he's done well to keep the ball. We are still trying to keep them penned into their half whenever we can. Eric's done well to win the ball, so we thought the linesman flags for a foul. It's Frankie on the ball for Rebel again, and uh, he's trying to twist and turn, trying to get away from uh, Eric this time, but he's running to Santos, and it might be a bit of trouble for Rebel here. It's gone into my feet. I've got two shirts in front of me. I've drawn them across. It's going to go into Santos, and he gets the shot all wrong, but the move was good. Uh, we won the ball back pretty well in a decent area. We tried to make something happen. Unfortunately, the end product just wasn't there. I'm not sure if it's because they're used to playing on Astro, but they did like to play out from the back, and that's exactly what they've done here. They've been able to work an opening there. It's going to go into Lionel. It's a good tackle here from Jed, uh, but the referee's blown his whistle, put his whistle to his mouth, and that will be a free kick for Rebel. This man, I think Harry for Rebel, is going to step up and take it, but he can't get a free kick right. It's wide of the right post. It's just been kicked by Mitch. It's hit off the head of this Harry guy here, and it's going to go out wide. It looks like uh, for Cal Freezy, but that's a blatant shove in the back by Santos. I don't know how the referee has not given a free kick for that one. Santos cuts it to the edge of the box. Mike goes for a shot and it's going to roll into the hands of the keeper. It's back inside our half. Santos tries to head it down to Jamil. A bit too far for him, a bit too far for me, but I'm able to get there just in front of Frankie and the referee gives us the advantage as well. I'm going to play a pass through the gap looking for Thomas, but he's under pressure from Will and it's a good challenge. 
Rebel then get the ball back, but it looks like only for a moment they've given it away to Eric, and it's not something you want to do. It looks like Eric might have given it away for us there, uh, but Jed's able to get the ball back for us, and I'm going to play a little one-two with Jed. Jed's got a bit of space to maybe go for a shot, and he doesn't get it right this time. It's out and in the backfields. Mike's now under pressure from Frankie. He's able to hold him off, and he's going to play it out wide for Toby. Toby takes a touch. He steps up, and he tries to travel across it into the box. But Thomas can't get there. Keeper's got there first. Over 15 minutes gone down and yet another Rebel attack has broken down. We've uh, been able to move it here with Mikes and Eric, so nice one too. Mikes is going to get his head up and play it out wide, uh, looking for Santos. Santos up against Cal Freezy. I'm sorry Cal, but I know who I'm backing in this one. Uh, Santos is going to cut inside, he's going to play it to the edge of the box and uh, uh, just a push there from Frankie, so we're going to get a free kick. Quams has picked up an injury, so we're going to substitute him and bring on Kieran at left back. Mike's and Eric standing over this. It's going to be Mike's to take it left footed, and it goes towards the goal, and the goalkeeper's tipped it over the bar. Maybe a little bit theatrical, but he saved it nonetheless. Mike steps up, left foot over the wall, and the keeper's made it look uh, very special. One for the cameras. We have the corner though, and that's going to be Mike standing over it. He's going to try and slice it towards the front post. The rebel head is first there. I think that's Casey Barker, and they clear it. Almost 20 minutes have been played, and still no real clear cut chances from either side as yet. Uh, the rebel man trying to break through. Plenty of UTR shirts surrounding him this time. And uh, yeah, I thought there'd have been one or two by now. That hasn't been the case. Eric this time surrounding, and I think we are a little lucky to get the free kick. But he's not wasting any time. He gets the ball rolling again. He's played it out wide uh, to Santos here. Uh, he's continued his run forward. Santos still looking to find a pass through the gap, and he does so to Eric. Eric with a little flare pass through to Toby. Toby, through it on goal. He's poked it past the goalkeeper, but he's been called offside. And I think that is definitely the right decision. We move on, though, and uh, Lionel's flicked this around the corner for Stelios. Uh, he's then come back across and won the ball off me. It's going to go to the feet of Thomas though, unfortunately for him. Uh, he's going to play this out wide to Toby. Toby, uh, touch and a chance to deliver into the box. He gets it into the box, onto the head of Thomas. And Thomas can't direct it on Toby. We've got a throw uh, taken from the right by Jed and it seems to be going for Toby. Casey Barker up against Toby. Toby at the back heel. Casey Barker's got a touch on it. Thomas tries to turn there. Eric did want the ball. We haven't made the most of that. Rebels still keeping it in dangerous areas and it looks like they've given it away to myself this time. Up against Lionel, I flicked it over Frankie and I'm able to get the ball eventually under control. Uh, Toby has it out wide again. He seems to be getting quite a bit of the ball this time. He's played it into Eric's good pass. Eric tries to uh, control and shot there and it's not really come off how he would have liked it. We've just sent the ball out to Kieran uh, via Mitch. He's got options in front of him and he's got Eric with a lot of space, plenty of space. No real Rebel shirts around him. No pressure on him, but he's going to pick a pass out wide to Jed. Uh, Jed's got time to get his head up. Can he find a pass? He gets one through the gap. Thomas here in a decent position inside the box. Tries to get into Eric. Eric slides in there. Uh, Santos comes across. He takes a shot and uh, it's saved by the goalkeeper as well. He doesn't seem to be quite happy with the challenge by Eric. Anyway, we have a corner and it's going to be taken by Mike. Same technique as the last one. A little slash towards the front post. I can't keep it at the back post. And uh, Frankie's just sliced his clearance attempt. It's going to go down to Toby. Frankie up against Toby. Kicked it and that's going to give us a corner. That corner from the right this time. It's uh, going to go low to the feet of Thomas. Thomas sets it back. It goes to Toby and Toby puts it narrowly over the bar. Should do better with that effort and he knows it. I think we are more on the front foot at the moment. It's uh, a throw in from Jed into Thomas. He takes a touch and sets it back to Jed. Jed onto Eric. Eric into Mike's. Uh, back to Eric. Eric goes for one from distance and it's not far off. Not far off at all. A loose clearance from uh, Rebel. Going to be capitalised on by Jed into the feet of Mike's. Mike's onto Eric. Uh, this is nice. He's moving the ball quickly. We've lost it there. With Thomas though and they're going to break away. Goes into the feet of Dante this time, tries to set it back the first time, it's not come off and uh, Eric's going to play it back to me, I've got time to assess what's in front of me and I'm going to play a pass, looking forward for Toby, Toby's jumping there, we can't get on the end of it and the Rebel will bring it out. That's going to sum up the first half an hour, the referee's called for a drinks break because like I said it was a very, very hot day. That was a much needed drinks break but we're back and can we build on the momentum that we had building up just before we took it? as uh, it's going to come out to me, I'm going to switch the play, looking for Kieran, he's got a Rebel shirt closing him down quite quickly, he's kicked it straight into the face of that man there and he's acting like he's not even phased by it at all as it goes into the feet of Eric, uh, Eric got a few shirts around him and he's been crowded out, it's going to go into Mike's clever flick round the corner and Eric has missed the target, I know I've missed my fair share of uh, sitters in the past but I know Eric is going to be fuming with that one because he knows if he just tapped it past the goalkeeper that was 1-0 are. But let's take another look at this. Uh, Eric going through the gap there. Mike's with a clever flick around the corner, and Eric maybe just got a bit too excited. He's gone for the volley. We 
yeah, still, it's encouraging, unlucky, and uh, we're going to have to move on from that as uh, Jamil's going to play this one into my feet. Uh, I've got a bit of time, plenty of time, Rebel have afforded me actually this time. And uh, I've played it in behind for Santos, great touch from Santos. Can he get past the goalkeeper? Straight at the goalkeeper, and Cal Frizi will get rid of that one. As we've gone on the front foot, and uh, Rebel are starting to struggle to really create anything. Uh, but like I said, I don't think it's their strongest 11. They are missing quite a few players. I know that Dylan guy's not there. Jesse, probably most notable as well. He would have caused us quite a few problems. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why, for some reason, those faces aren't there. And this is what they have today. So they're doing their best with it. And we'll see what happens for the rest of the game. It's going to come out wide uh, to this guy. Uh, Santos puts him under pressure. He's done well and he's able to keep it in play as well as he first across the front of the man. Uh, always a difficult position to be in as a defender when someone cuts across you. Thomas is going to play this one into Eric. Uh, Eric's got players to his left, uh, to his right. Tries to scoop it over the top of Thomas and it doesn't really come off. But it's going to go back into Santos. And this man will again showing the strength and power and the position that he holds in Rebel and why he holds it. He's one of the free kick. Santos to take a throw in for us uh, into Thomas. Touch and set just how we like it. Santos then plays one through the gap. It's going to be to me. Uh, I'll come across and been tackled there. Goes into Thomas. Can't get un out from under his feet. The shot's blocked. It's going to go back out to Santos again. We're calling for a little handball, but it seems like it's actually just hit Cal Freezy's face. Something that I'm pretty sure a lot of people have wanted to do in the past, Cal. Hit your face. <laughs> Still goalless and getting ever closer to half time as Jamil plays this one out wide for Kieran. Kieran into Santos, nice little one too. Kieran gets one on, I take a touch, try and play it into Mike's. It's a loose and hospital pass, but Mike's has done well to get a challenge in there. Uh, goes out to Eric, Eric out to Jed. Jed goes for a shot, it's a decent attempt and it's uh, caught by the uh, Rebel Keeper in the end. It's still not really hurt us too much, it's Frankie out to this guy, skips away from Kieran too easily, goes for one from distance and it's a decent attempt and a few yards to the right. We could have been looking at a very, very good goal. We're bringing it out from the back. It's going to be Jams looking for the feet of Thomas. He finds it. Thomas back to me. Uh, we've got Mike's here on the ball now. Mike's trying to spin away and hold up Lionel here. He's got Thomas in front of him there. Tries to play it there, but a bit of mis miscommunication between them there. And they are not happy with each other. Rebel bring the ball up the pitch. It's Casey Barker. Great control there uh, to take it on his chest from Yaya Torre, a.k.a. Lionel. He's just such a unit in the midfield for them. And this time he's going to be clattered into by Jamil. Referee doesn't see anything wrong with that. I think that was a foul. We've gotten away with it. It's been switched the play here to this guy on the right. He's tried to chop it in there. It's not really come off uh, initially. He's still up against Kieran trying to find space. Uh, maybe to do something. Kieran keeping him at bay only for a moment. He's put one to the back post. And Jed's going to have to do the same thing and put it out for a throw. Eric's going to pick up the ball just inside their half. He's got a bit of space in front of him. He's got Mike's as well. Plays into the feet of Mike's. Mike's has been brought to the ground. They're calling for a free kick. Referee says no way. We've got the ball. That means Rebel can break hands. Yes, we do know they have snuck Yaya Torre. I, I am convinced. I, every, the more I look at you, the more you become Yaya Torre, Lionel. Honestly. <laughs> but yeah, he's up against Kieran. A bit of a mismatch here. But he's going to try and tip it past Kieran. Kieran puts him to the side and it will be a goal kick. We've got a free kick. Mike's standing over it. Taken from the left. It's curved in towards the box. Toby can't keep it in back towards goal. But it's dropped back post for Jed. Jed into Eric. Eric's had the shot. And Casey Barker's in the right place at the right time for them. We've just thrown it into the box. It goes in there. It's dropped off ahead of Frankie. Comes out to the edge of the box. And cue the sound effects because that's gone way over. It's coming down the line this time. It's uh, bounced off the head of Frankie. Cal Freezy does well to win the header. I also win mine. Lovely touch from Eric to keep the ball uh, for us there. And he's uh, bringing it forward into Mike's. Mike's takes a few touches. He's got a bit of space to shoot this time. And cue the sound effect once again because that also is way over. Harry in the middle for a Rebel with the yellow boots, bright yellow boots. You usually get teased for wearing those. This time, one of them has slipped off just like a banana. And uh, Mike's is going to win the ball back for us. He's going to twist and turn. I'm pretty sure play usually stops when a boot's off the pitch. Uh, on the pitch, sorry. But Eric's going to have the ball for us. Up against Frankie, uh, trying to make him skank a little bit there. He goes out wide to Santos now. Santos up against Freezy. He goes for a shot. And again, he's hit the side of the goal. So I wouldn't say an action-packed first half, but it certainly hasn't been boring. Rebel have it on the left. They're going to try and make one last attack happen, but Toby's there to cut out. Good tracking. That's going to be half time. It's been a decent first half and it's set up the second to be even better. Well, that's I'm you know, if, you, if you get a shot on target, it's a goal. Yeah, it's a finish. If you get a shot on target, it's an easy goal. Yeah, we literally had about two nah, chances. Yeah, that's back. fine, but that's what I'm saying. We need to be ruthless in terms of taking the shots, though. All this pretty stuff, oh, yeah, it works. Isn't good enough right we now. Need to, shots will go in. We need to take shots. We're saying we're not taking enough shots. Now we're taking shots. It's going to happen. Yeah, Relax. How many of us took shots yeah, over? The thing is, the thing is, yeah, the shot, the shots you lot are taking, there's nothing wrong with it. All we're saying now is, if you get those shots on target, yeah, you don't need two, saying, three, four goals yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Go but what I'm goal. saying is, when you guys are through on goal, somebody no, needs no, to no, tell no, no. the person oh, oh. that they got time. Sometimes mm. I feel like we get into the position. I'm like, oh, cool, I need the goal, and we rush it. Yeah. We got, we got way much more time than we think. The press has been so much better. Now look what they're doing. They're even pinging it off the pitch. 
or straight to our back four who are comfortable on it now. Still demand the ball. Like we're getting into these areas and we're just watching the wide men bring it in. If I drop in, someone else come and show. Yeah? Demand the ball. I, don't, I feel like some of us are too uncomfortable on the ball and it's like we don't want it for long. I'm not saying hold on to it, hold on to it, but be confident when you have it and your ability to, to keep it and do something positive. Because we're panicking. That final third, we've gone through three, four, five times. So Let's make it count now. You know they have it. Everything they've shown me right now is what they have. Yeah. That's That's their, that is their game. And they we haven't organized. even started. Why well, we, have, we have not started. You man complain when it's rain, but when the sun's out, what's happening? It's too hot. What's the, what kind of weather or conditions do you want to play in? You want to play indoor football where there's no air con? You tell me. Come on, we, I, I don't think we've played badly. We just, we just need to score. We're into the second half then, and it's going to be uh, Will on the ball for Rebel. I don't think we had a bad first half, in my opinion. The things that we did wrong, but mainly we didn't take our chances. We had a few chances, we haven't taken them. That works against us uh, quite a few times. This time Rebel found themselves in behind, and all of a sudden, Rebel are 1-0 up. They've come out the blocks faster, they've worked their way through, and they've scored the first goal of the game. It's come out of nowhere. Honestly, I didn't expect it at the time, and I don't know where it's come from, but maybe we could have done a little bit better defensively. Yeah, all of a sudden we're 1-0 down and that has absolutely come out of nowhere as uh, all of a sudden it looks like uh, we might be under a bit of pressure. We look like we're panicking a little bit. We've made a couple of mistakes just in quick succession here and Rebel look very fired up. Uh, they've got the ball here with this guy Harry. He's going to get his body in front and he's used it well there and played the ball back to Frankie. They've also dropped a little dummy there. Grand in uh, confidence here, Rebel. They're going to play one across the box here. It's going to be Jamil uh, that does well to deal with that one there. And how about that for a lovely touch from Eric and can he get us going? Uh, we need to get a goal back as soon as possible because if Rebel were growing in confidence they can really do us over here. Lovely little chop from Eric. Unfortunately the pass doesn't follow on that and Frankie's come in and won the ball for them. Now going to come across out wide uh, with Lionel up against Jamil. He's sizing him up and he's gone past him for a moment there. Can Jamil recover? No not really because he's chopped him to ground and not for the first time this game. Rebel to take that free kick into the box. There he is. It's going to be Lionel again. He can't keep the header down. It seems to be all Rebel right now. They've got it with the man on the right again. He puts it across into the box. Uh, Jed's going to flick it away. It's going to go straight to Jams. He sliced his clearance though. And uh, fortunately for us, Mitch is going to be allowed to get that one. I'm hoping that we can recover from this little, I don't know, it's like this little period of turbulence at the moment as Harry for Rebel plays one forward. Uh, Lionel, very clever, lets it run through his legs. Uh, Jamil's been done there. Bradley's coming across to help. And Bradley's going to ground there. He's done well to win the ball again. And Jamil's going to put it out for a throw. But we're all over the place at the moment and it's not looking good. Cal Freezy for Rebel to take the throw. Ray in there. Rolls Jamil. Can he get a shot off here? Jamil does well to recover. And then Jed's going to come across and clear that for us. We're not looking good at the moment. It seems like our confidence has been knocked out of us. This time it comes out on the edge of the box to me. I go for a shot here. It's deflected. It's going to bounce in front of the keeper. But in the end, he's going to keep it. Can we try and get back into this game? Toby chasing the loose ball. The keeper, once again, very comfortable outside his box. It's hit his hand. We're appealing for it. Referee's not going to give anything there as it wasn't intentional. Still plenty of time to score, though. We don't have to panic just yet. It's into the feet of Eric for myself now. Uh, Eric, once again, comfortable in possession. He's got space to drive into. Now he's got Mike to his right. Mike's picked up a good position here. Can he find space for a shot? Goes for it. And it's going to be blocked by Casey Barker. Mike's goes over to take that corner from the right. In swing and decent delivery. It's come off the head of Frankie and I tried to keep it low at the back. It's too fast for me and into the arms of the keeper. Rebel still insistent on playing the ball out from the back. Toby trying to apply the pressure here and he's up against Stelios there. Stelios has done well to evade the challenge there and Rebel moved it nicely. It's going to come out wide here for Dante for Rebel. Uh, he's going to keep it there. Go into that Harry guy and uh, a collision there between himself and Mike. That's going to force us to make a change. We're going to bring on Temi for Mike's now and also Drew's going to come on the pitch for uh, Toby this time. Nearly an hour gone, uh, Eric's going to pick up the ball, brings it over the halfway line and he's spotted a pass in behind to Temi. Uh, Temi trying to get this under control, he does, but he can't get the pass right and Will is going to be there to put in a toe. Still have half an hour to try and turn this around. Kieran's pass into Eric a bit too far, Thomas has done well to retrieve possession for us though. And it's going to be me into uh, Drew. Drew goes for a shot there and it's not bad, but it's tipped wide by the goalkeeper and I know he knows he could get a little bit more on that maybe. Another substitution, it's going to be Jamil coming off for Reggie this time. Bradley's bringing the ball up the pitch for us from centre back this time. Goes into Drew, he's uh, ready to come forward this time, Bradley. Uh, Thomas into Bradley, he's done well to adjust and keep that pass alive. Uh, Temi's going to spread it out wide here for Jed. Can he get a ball into the box? Jed into the box, Jed into the head of Thomas, and it's 1 1. A goal that came from just a little bit of intensity and trying to come forward and make things happen. Started from Bradley, and we've done well to get a goal there.
we might have the momentum now. It's a said saying in football, um, goals change games, and this one might change this game as uh, Jed and Temi play a 1-2. It's a lovely ball to the back post. No one really arriving there. Santos is going to keep it alive for us, though. It's going to go to the feet of Eric on the edge of the box. He spots me making a late run, and it's going to go into my feet uh, up to Thomas. Thomas goes for a shot, and that's hit the hand of uh, Casey Barker, so the referee's going to award a penalty there. And uh, it's a big decision, but I think the correct decision at that. Let's take another look at it, though. It's into the feet of Thomas. Swivels nicely. Goes for the shot. And um, it's hit the hand of Casey Barker, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's going to be Thomas to step up and take the penalty. He's won it. Referee blows the whistle. Thomas steps up, up against the Rebel goalkeeper and he's put it straight down the middle. That's 2-1. We're now in front. And the momentum's of us. How will Rebel respond to this though? They've uh, got it on the edge of the box with Lionel. Eric trying to put him under pressure and win the ball back for us. He's been shrugged off there. Lionel gets a, a space for a shot and he's been able to hit the post there. That is a very close uh, chance and almost a, an instant reply from Rebel there. Uh, gets it on the edge of the box. Good strength. Holds him off. Uses his body very, very well. That's why I'm calling him Yaya Torre. And the shot is very decent as well in the post. So we need to know that they are not written off from this game. Temi played one there. A uh, bit of a loose pass, but I'm able to capitalise there. He's tried to shrug me off the pitch. Uh, it's going to go to the feet of Drew. Loose touch there, but it comes back to Drew again. And now he's going to use uh, his body and cleverly turn. Uh, can he get the ball into the box? It's deflected. And it'll head behind for a corner. Rebel trying to break though, and this man's got not many options. Jed's flicked it across and flicked it into the face of him. So he's going to go down. Referee's going to come and check up on him. That then gives the rest of us another needed drinks break. Still struggling under the weather. If you watched last week's video, you know we had the drop ball issue. I think that's the correct one now. We're going to get at them again. It's Bradley into the feet of Temi. Good control. He's got Jed out wide once more. Uh, Jed still sees the run forward of Temi. He's going to play it down the line. Temi here tries to pull one back, but wheels across to stop it. Jed over to take the corner. Can he get a decent delivery into the box? It's headed away by Casey Barker and it's going to come out here uh, only as far as Reggie. Can Reggie get a ball back into the box and a decent one at that? It is not a bad ball to be fair, but Rebel in the end are going to deal with it. Or so we thought, but Thomas comes across and he's won the ball back for us. It's going to go into Drew here. Drew trying to clever turn, but Rebel now deal with it. Bradley at the moment is playing like the Sunday League Van Dyke. He's sweeping up the ball, he's bringing it forward as well when he needs to, and he's played it into Temi, who's won us a free kick. Another substitution, Superstar Lamray. Thank you so much for DMing him, by the way. It really annoyed him, so I love that. Rebel have it midway through their half into Lionel. Yeah, very good at holding up the ball, keeping the ball. Big, like, good feet for a big guy, like, nimble guy. But he's played it back to the goalkeeper. Eric's going to put the pressure on the goalkeeper, and this time they're going to make a mistake. That's going to be our throw. That's then going to cue a change. Thomas coming off for Mike's. He's back on the pitch. Will for Rebel to take a free kick inside our half. He's looking for uh, Lionel there who jumps high. Mitch has missed it and thankfully for us, Bradley's uh, there to clear it off the line. This time Kieran's sliced the clearance and Rebel can still make something happen here. Uh, but it's going to drop here for Eric. Eric's going to get us on the attack. Uh, it's going to be Drew up against this Terrell guy. Uh, Drew, can he beat him? One on one, can he take it inside? He looks to take it inside. Can he get the shot off then? He goes to get it off and he does. It's gone wide of the right post though. Still plenty of stuff to happen in this game, you can tell, as uh, Lamre's going to play this one back to me. Lamre the superstar. Uh, just, just DM Lamre. Just message Lamre on Instagram and tell him, Lamre, you're a superstar. Just let him know. Keep annoying him. I love this stuff. As this time it goes in, but from Drew to Lamre, and he's won a free kick. Look, that's what superstars do. I also heard he actually replies, so you'll get a reply from Lamre, trust me. <laughs> Anyway, back to more serious matters. Mike's with a free kick. It's not far from the left post. It's late in the game, though, and uh, Rebel are still playing it out from the back. They've brought their goalkeeper that's usually in goal uh, out on pitch. That's how short the players they were today. But they've given away a penalty uh, through this, trying to play it out from the back. And it was a little bit sloppy from them. Drew nipping across the case of Barkley. Wow, that's two penalties given away. I didn't even realise that. So then, that means Drew gets the opportunity to get his goal for the game, and he steps up and he places it to the left of the goalkeeper. Easy as you like. And that is 3-1 to UTR. It's not a good sight when the big man's running at you and there he's almost taking my ankle but can I recover? I do so just about over to the right now and uh, Jed plays it first time into Eric. Eric takes a touch and spots the pass out to the left. It's Kieran that uh, controls it. Made him slip in there and uh, goes for the shot but straight into the hands of the keeper. Rebel's still not going to give up though. They've fought very well in this heat and although we have the lead it's still not game done. There's a few minutes left. We have to see it out. 
they decided to go for the short option this time. It's Stelios into uh, Harry for Rebel. Uh, they're trying to make something happen uh, late in the game. Almost 90 minutes been played. Tries to get shot off there. It's going to be blocked by me. It's going to go straight back to his feet. He's going to come out on the edge of the box. And I'm pretty sure this is the guy that's usually in goal for Rebel. Kalen or Kalen. One of the two. Uh, but it's uh, going to allow us to get on the counter attack here anyway. Drew has the ball. He's got Reggie Stephen Ford. Lamray's out to the left. Reggie goes to cut in. And he's uh, gotten the, the decision all wrong, to be honest. And uh, Temi's going to try and pick it up. Uh, for us, uh, Stelios is back across for Rebel. Dante trying to flick in his own box for Rebel. Not the right decision there. Uh, Temi with the fake shot, sending him off the pitch. He's going to go into Mike's. Mike's has a uh, will from Rebel right in front of his face, but he's found Lambre in space in the box. Not someone that you want to leave unmarked. Good save from the goalkeeper. It's going to come out here to Drew. Can he keep the move alive for us? He does so, and Lambre is going to end it off there. The game done. It's 4 1, and Rebel are down and out. But like I said, um, not really. The Rebel team that I expected to see today. And um, yeah, credit to them for, for going for it, giving it all their best. They've made it difficult for us in this game. And I don't think it's been an easy game by any stretch of the imagination. I think we've just turned it up a little bit in the second half. But Lamry getting the shot off there. Good save from the goalkeeper. Drew, smart decision just to slow it down and get the ball back across. It's 4-1. So yeah, there you have it. Been an interesting game. In the second half, though, we've turned things up and we've been able to score four goals. So, uh, no goals in the first half. The second half, totally different story. And we've won this game four goals to one. But, like I said, uh, Rebel gave it everything. Did their best. They even had their goalkeeper out of the field at one stage. So I'm not going to make too much noise about this anyway. Uh, but yeah, thank you for the game. Appreciate it. Big up to Cal, uh, Will at Rebel, all the guys at Rebel. Uh, appreciate you guys. And I wish you guys all the best in the future. But yeah, guys, that is the game done. Next week, we'll be up against Palmer's, the Sunday League OG, so make sure you don't miss that one. Also, make sure that if you haven't already subscribed to the UTR channel, that you do so now. And also, a quick reminder, if you want to be sporting our home kit this season, the link for that is down in the description below. So if you want to get that, feel free, the link's there. So plenty of stuff for you to click on. And also, a reminder, uh, to DM Lamra on Instagram and tell him he's a superstar. Just, just for the fun. This is the last one, I promise. I, I won't do it anymore, for now. If you have enjoyed this video, though, make sure to hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you are new, of course, guys. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace. Amanda, don't.